Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my April favorites video for you and I haven't done a favorites video since January so I'm really sorry about that but I'm really excited to film this video for you as well and share with you some of the things that I've been loving recently. Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the makeup. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, I actually have two skin products from Urban Decay. The first thing is this Naked Skin Ultra Definition Pressed Finish powder and I have it in the color Naked Medium Light. I've pretty much used all of this. I've almost used it up entirely. I have had it for a couple of months now. I think I originally heard about this product on Zoella's channel. It was in one of her favorites videos and I just use this as a setting powder or a face powder so I put this all over my face after I'm done with my foundation and I love the finish that it gives. It does keep you matte but it's not like a totally flat finish so it just keeps gives you a nice pretty look um, finishes your makeup off nicely and I feel like it ke keeps your makeup on longer throughout the day so I really really like this powder and then another skin favorite from Urban Decay is something that I talked about in my recent Sephora haul it's their Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer this is in the shade Medium Light Neutral I also have another one in the shade Light Warm or something like that but this one is really more my favorite one it's the one that's closer to my skin tone and this works really well both under your eyes as well as on any blemishes or just kind of on your face to give you extra coverage I really am starting to like this better than the NARS Radiant creamy concealer really love this concealer it really is light it's thin um, but it has great coverage and I feel like it has better staying powder than the NARS so this has been my favorite concealer lately for sure another face product that I've sort of rediscovered in my collection is the hourglass ambient lighting palette it is a trio of their ambient lighting powders and it's got dim light incandescent light and radiant light and I love using radiant light almost just all over my face or to sort of blend out my cheeks when I've got my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight on there. It doesn't give you a really intense glow, so it works well as a finishing powder. And then the middle one, Incandescent Light, I love using as a highlight. It's so pretty on the tops of your cheekbones, as well as to highlight your brow bone or the inner corners of your eyes. The Dim Light Powder, I don't really use as much, but occasionally I do mix the three of them together for my highlight. So I've really been loving, especially this Radiant Light Powder, like I said, for all over my face, and the incandescent for the highlight but I have rediscovered this palette and I am using it almost every day so this has been another favorite for me I've also got two very different eyeshadow product favorites um, and the first one is this Josie Marin coconut watercolor eyeshadow this is in the color Rio de Rose gold I also have the other one that's a bronze shade I forgot the name of it but these are liquid eyeshadows they come with a doe foot applicator I actually believe I used this in I think it was my peachy spring glow tutorial or something like that I'll link it down below but this is such a a pretty pretty color and it is super super pigmented it's a very metallic shadow and it's really easy to apply and blend out with your fingers so I'm really loving this for spring and summer and hotter months when you want something that's long wearing but you don't want to put a ton of effort or layers into your makeup they've got a couple of different colors I believe they're all sort of metallics but I definitely would check out the colors and see if there's any that you like because I really love this especially for summer I've been talking about this quite a lot on my channel recently I haul it in my recent Sephora haul I think and this is the NARS St. Paul de Vance eyeshadow duo um, Sephora describes it as a shimmering nectarine duo but it's got a really really pretty peachy shimmery all over the lid shade and then a gorgeous neutral kind of taupey brownie shade for the crease and I've been wearing this almost every single day to work it's so easy to wear and the colors are gorgeous um, NARS eyeshadows are such good quality and this duo has just been a major favorite I was kind of hesitant to buy it because these duos are expensive but I heard about it on a couple of my favorite channels and I decided to pick it up and I'm so glad that I did because it's just amazing another product that I think I also talked about in that peachy glow tutorial is this and this is the YSL tint and oil in the shade peach me love this is a beautiful lip product it is an oil it comes with a really nice doe foot applicator and it has this kind of like orange color so it looks like a really pretty orange oily gloss if that sounds at all appealing but it leaves a really nice stain on your lips even when that oily gloss 
sheen is gone. It hydrates your lips to begin with and then it leaves a really nice stain on it for hours after that. I really really love this as like an everyday lip product. I've been keeping it in my purse and I know these things are pricey but I really really like it and I have two of them but this is the color that I've been loving the most and it is again in the color Peach Me Love. So check out these YSL tint and oils if you haven't already. I feel like these are also really really nice summer lip products. Another product I have been loving lately, and this is new to my collection, is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eyeliner in the color, I think it's called Barbarella Brown. Um, I don't actually think that is written on here, but it's called the Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. It's not liquid, it is like a crayon that you sharpen, um, but it's very highly pigmented, and this Barbarella Brown color is like a deep, deep brown, so it's really nice for every day. I've just been using it in my top, I guess my top lash line, just to kind of outline and define my eyes, and I just love it. It does stay for a really long time. It doesn't transfer or smudge all over my eyes throughout the day, and I love wearing it every day to work. So this is another huge hit from Charlotte Tilbury, which I've just been loving her makeup line, um, and this product is no exception. The last makeup item in my favorites this month is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. This is a black mascara primer, just kind of as the name suggests, and it's got a nice curved wand. This works really well underneath pretty much any mascara, and it says that it um, tints, amplifies, and sets, and it really does all three of those things. First of all, it gets your lashes kind of a little bit blackened, then it also does act almost as a mascara, so it does give you some lift and separation and curl, and then it sets so it makes your mascara, I feel like, stay on longer throughout the day. So. This is a really, really nice mascara primer, and I've tried some others before. I also really like the Urban Decay Subversion, but that one's white. Um, this is a black mascara primer, which I really don't think I have tried another black one. So I really, really enjoy this one, and I think I heard about this on Fleur de Force's channel. Decided to pick it up myself, and I've been using it every day for work before I put on my mascara, so highly recommend this little black primer if you're looking for a mascara primer. Another favorite that I guess is kind of like in between makeup and skincare is this, and this is like an everyone's favorite, I know, but I don't think I've mentioned it in one of my favorites videos before, so I really have to show it on my channel because I am obsessed with the Beauty Blender. And this is the red one, um, this, they have like a special red carpet one, I've got other pink ones, and I have the Micro Mini as well, but I don't feel like that one's as essential as the regular size. This is just a dream for applying both foundation and concealer, and I even saw a tutorial where Candy Johnson used this to apply like pretty much all of her makeup. I mainly use it for foundation and concealer. It is just freaking amazing. No brush applies your foundation like this does. I would highly recommend using this if you have not tried it already. It is just amazing for makeup application. So yes to the Beauty Blender, and I actually did a Beauty Blender solid cleanser review. So I'm gonna link that down below. That kind of shows you how I clean my Beauty Blenders, and I still do use their solid cleanser. Um, I just keep repurchasing it because I absolutely love it, and it keeps this so nice and clean. Highly recommend the Beauty Blender. It is like a must-have for me. I don't know how I would live without it at this point. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about some skincare, and then I will go into the more random favorites like the fashion and food stuff. Um, I've only got three skincare items, so not a ton of stuff, but the first one is like a life-changing product, and I think I did mention it in my Sephora haul, um, but this is the, the Luna Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley. It is $105, so it's extremely expensive, and I'm just going to put that out there, but it is so worth it. It is, it will change your skin within like one to two nights. It just makes your skin so soft, so clear, just like I've never seen it before. It has retinol in it. The reason I chose this oil, because Sunday Riley has a couple of different oils, they're all rated really highly on Sephora. So the reason I came to choose this Luna one is because it is a sleeping overnight oil, and I feel like when you're wearing something overnight, you're really giving it time to work, and this really can do wonders to your skin overnight. So I cannot even recommend this enough. If you're hesitant to check this out, I would recommend going to read some of the reviews on the Sephora website because I'm pretty sure it's almost like five stars. If not, it is five stars, but it is 
freaking fantastic. And if you did not know already, Sunday Riley is a Houston, Texas based brand, which is where I live, which just gives me all the more reason to love this little oil. So that is a major favorite, I think not just of the month, but of seriously all time. It is amazing. Another two skincare favorites I have. First, I've got Bioderma, and I heard about this so much on YouTube. Um, I actually just finished a whole one of these bottles. This is like a new one that I've just started, but you can really remove all of your makeup just with this, and it's so gentle. It really just feels like a water. It's not oily at all. It really is like a water. It takes off all of your face makeup, all of your eye makeup. I like using this before I cleanse my face. Sometimes I have to use an extra eye makeup remover if I'm wearing a ton of like waterproof mascara, or sometimes if you're using that Estee Lauder little black primer, it might take a little bit extra work to get off your eye makeup, but for removing face makeup and most of your makeup, this stuff is amazing and they're selling it on Beautylish now so it used to be hard to get this in the US but now it is really easy so check this out for sure. The last skincare item I have is L'Occitane, L'Occitane, I really don't know how to say the name of this brand but it is their almond what is it called? It's the shower oil with almond oil. You can use it as a body wash. I like to use a different body wash first and then use this all over my body. It leaves it feeling really moisturized. And I was really obsessed with the Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner, but that was getting expensive because it was like not lasting me very long. The tubs are quite small. This is 16.9 fluid ounces, so it's quite a lot. It comes with a pump and it makes your skin feel nice and soft. I'm kind of using this as like my body conditioner kind of thing, but it is, I think, like a cleansing oil. It says cleansing and softening and it smells amazing. I heard about this on Makeup by Tiffany D's channel. I use this every single time I take a shower now, so really been loving this product a lot. Okay, so moving into some fashion favorites, I'm going to start off with these jewel, um, earrings that I got from Bobble Bar, and these are like, I think they're called ear jackets. I'm not wearing them right now, but I was wearing them in my Josie Marin dupe video. I think I've probably worn them in a couple videos. I really love these, and I don't remember what this particular style is called, but I will leave it linked in the description box if you guys are interested in checking them out. Basically, it's like a little stud in the front, and then it has a piece on the back that kind of hangs down from the ear. So they look really edgy and cool, and I just get a ton of compliments when I wear these. And I really like the style of these ones that I have. It's almost kind of like a sunburst type looking thing. So those are my earring favorites. And then I have a new favorite purse um, that I got from Daily Look, which I had never really ordered anything from that site before. And then I recently just ordered this bag and like a little cardigan from them. And I am loving this bag. Um, I've gotten a ton of compliments on it. It is kind of like a, this is what it looks like first of all, it's huge. Um, and it kind of, I guess you could say it looks like almost a Celine kind of knockoff. Um, I think it has that like structured style to it, but it's really, it's so big. First of all, can we look at how big this is? There's a, there's a scarf in there, but yeah, it's huge. And it is in the color, I believe on daily look, it's called raspberry such a gorgeous like fuchsia kind of purple color it fits everything i've just been using this purse every single day for work it also comes with like a crossbody strap if you want to hook that on and wear it on your shoulder but yeah this bag's from daily look i think it really is just called like their medium or their large structured bag i don't remember which one it is but i will find it for you guys and link it in my description box I love this and it's really really nice quality. I was very impressed. It was only $74.99 which for a huge bag like this it's just it's beautiful quality and it's got some organizational pockets inside and it's a major love. So that is my favorite bag of the moment and I also have some favorite jeans of the moment. I actually bought these jeans last year so I'm hoping that they're still gonna be for sale. These are a pair of like boyfriend jeans or distressed jeans and they are by the brand Joe's Jeans. I got these at Nordstrom. I like them because first of all they're really soft and second of all the destroyedness is very subtle. They just have like a little rip here and a little one down here but it's not like crazy crazy rips like some of the destroyed jeans I'm seeing nowadays are like, they barely have any material on them. It's kind of scary, but 
I will show you kind of like a cutaway clip with me wearing these so you can see how I like to style them. But these jeans are just so soft, very nice quality, and I find that the fit is really nice. Um, I have them in a size 25, which is a lot smaller than I would normally wear. I'm normally like a 26 or 27. So yeah, these are Joe's jeans, and let me see if the style is on here. They're in the style Easy High Water. So they're 98% cotton and 2% elastin, designed in Los Angeles, made in Mexico. Okay, I just have a couple more random favorites and then we will be done with this video. I got this tea at a store here in Houston called A Movable Feast. It's like a health food cafe and store and it's really cute. I like it a lot. If you're vegan or gluten free um, or you have any dietary restrictions, restrictions or you're just trying to eat healthy it's a really great place so check it out but anyway this is a tea that i bought there it's been really really nice um the quality is is nice it's called two leaves and a bud organic chamomile whole leaf herbal tea sachets each tea bag comes individually wrapped in like a little plastic bag and they're in those really nice kind of like netted baggies and it's not like just ground powder you can actually see like the chamomile buds in there so it's really really nice chamomile tea is caffeine free so I love drinking this like any time of day especially kind of before bed or after work after work just to wind down but I really like this and this brand I just feel like is really high quality it's really nice so I didn't open the box properly I think you're supposed to open it like here oh look you can open the box there and then I guess you just slide the little tea bags out from there. That's convenient, isn't it? Ha! Huh. You learn something new every day, don't you? And then my favorite show of the month, definitely House of Cards. If you guys have not watched House of Cards, get on it. That show is freaking fantastic. Kevin Spacey is like my idol, my hero in that show, even though he does a lot of like sketchy and controversial things. It's so amazing and I cannot wait for season four to come out. I like binge watched seasons one through three with my boyfriend probably in a matter of like three weeks. So yeah. I also wanted to talk really briefly about a favorite restaurant here in Houston. My boyfriend and I both have been obsessed with local foods. Um, the one that we go to, and I don't know if there's more than one, I think there might be, but we are obsessed with going to the one that's on Westheimer and Kirby. It's just really good. They use local organic kind of ingredients. They have vegan and I think maybe gluten-free options. I don't know, I'm not gluten-free, but I am vegan and they have vegan-friendly food there. I particularly love the Garden Sammy sandwich. So good. So that is my restaurant favorite for the month. And I don't think I've ever talked about a restaurant favorite before, but I'm obsessed with food. So I thought I would start incorporating them since Houston is like full of good restaurants. That is finally it for my favorites video. I know I feel like I had a lot of stuff this month. So for those of you who stuck with me and are still here at the end of this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know that you stuck with me to the end. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That would just mean so much to me and it would help you catch all of my new videos whenever I'm posting them. If you didn't see my last video, definitely check it out. That was my haul video from the Sephora VIB, VIB Rouge sale. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me. It's just at Daniela June. And you can keep up with me on there until I post my next video. So that is it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.